Hey guys, Bill Shimantel from the BBZ TV. We're up here, Southern California. We're fishing beach. I'm gonna go over some stuff real quick. I know a lot of people just wanna watch fish catches and everything else, but as you see in the quick time lapse, you know, I have people come up to me all the time, ask me how I'm catching fish and why, and there's reasons to it. So here's the biggest thing. <clears throat> Coming out in Southern California, for me, and this is just my theories, there's a couple things I want to look at. First of all, when I'm fishing the beach, I'm looking at the tides. Right now, we're two hours into an incoming tide. I like fishing at incoming time for a couple reasons. Down here, we're over at Carpinteria. If you can see down here, <clears throat> the tide's already coming in for the last two hours. Two hours ago, there's nothing but rocks down this entire bank. So what, what I'm doing with the tide as the incoming, I'm letting the water rise enough so I can fish the inside line of all these rocks. It's like fishing the inside of a grass line at the delta, you know, when you, your tides are coming in. <clears throat> a couple other things is when I'm on a beach, I like to walk until the, the footprints in the sand start to disappear, meaning not as many people are down here, uh, the tractors aren't down here digging up the sand, the sand's super soft, so in that you're going to be able to find more and more sand crabs or sand fleas whatever you want to call them so um, i'm looking at that type of environment i want something that's more pristine and not messed with uh, man-made with tractors or digging up or making berms in the winter time so those are all the key factors and the other cool thing is when this water comes up another foot or so i can go out throw rip bait i could throw out uh, a carolina rig and i could fish super close to the bank because it's still going to be my depth zone for these perch or from my knee to my ankle that's as deep as i want to get so uh real quick i'm using akuma rod and reel setups i have a old uh, guide select pro this is my favorite nine 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 two-piece rod i also have the rockaway that i have right behind it uh with the rip bait on um, i'm using the itx reels i have 20 pound test soft steel braid and I'm either using eight pound test, soft steel, floral stretch, which I am loving. This stuff is incredible. Or on the rip baits, I'm using 15 pound floral stretch. Um, pairing it up with the size two Gamagatsu uh, Aberdeen hook, standard half ounce egg sinker with the bead and a spro swivel. And I'm telling you, this is just fun stuff. So we're gonna get out here. Um, I'm gonna try to catch some fish right here close as the incoming tide and then maybe even pick up a rip bait um, and work down the bank in the next hour or two but uh, let's just uh, go out here let's have fun i'll show you how close i can catch these fish in the in the breaks when the water is coming in i mean literally it's only 10 feet out in front of you and uh let's catch some some uh some perch maybe we'll catch a big one today and uh there's always a chance for corvino or a halibut um, known stripers out here there's all kinds of stuff but uh, famous thing your gulp use fresh gulp uh, open up the bag that's the best way man this stuff is just killer killer on the perch down here um, I'm taking the larger baits cutting them in half to give a little smaller profile and I can catch more fish with the bag and then uh, we'll kind of go for there so uh, let's go out I want to set up a hat cam and uh, let's go catch some fish Okay, got a size two Aberdeen hook with my Kuma guide select, baby. You get the tides right and you get the right depth on the beach. That little break right here, guys, you can see the little depth and how it's really pulling water. That right here, right here. Right there, literally 25 yards in front of us. Probably less than that, 20. These perch are running up and down this little little ridge right here. It's only ankle high. Ankle high to knee high right here. Okay, let's go see if we can catch one. 
right here. You got good depth right here. I like how those the waves are breaking. So right where you see the the water ripple, right right there, the water, white water, right there. That's going to come in, and it's going to undertow the bait and get all these uh, sand crabs and sand fleas out right here. Literally, I'm out there in probably a foot and a half of water right now. And these per oh, there's a hit. These perch are going to be running up and down this little little line right here, chewing. Come on. See that little step down right there is just money. Just got the right perfect depth. There's a hit right here, there, right, right there, look at it. Right there off that little teeny, just little teeny break. It goes from a foot to foot and a half. So right, I'm gonna throw right on the back side of that break right there. And I'm gonna fish it from there to where it breaks right there. That's the sweet spot right there. And there's just enough depth, that little roll. You can see where it's picking up the little sand fleas and pushing it back out to the water. So right, right in here. What these perch will do, they'll run that little seam up and down on these uh, little breakers. There's a hit, there's a hit, there's a hit. There's a, he's hitting it right there. Man, he's in small water. I think I got the little bastard. He's small. Oh yeah. They're eating. Be free, little guy. Wait to it. Oh. Ooh, look at that big old chunker. That is a beast. Look at that. That is a beast of a chunker. God, Moses. Another fat pregnant one. Oh, there's the babies. Ooh, look at their babies. Gonna be going. We're gonna get this mama back in the water. Real soon like this. Look at that big old beast, big old female. Just giving babies.
One. Come here, little jumpers. One, two, three. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here he goes swimming. Look at he's swimming. He's swimming. Get that one out there. Oh, here's another one. Little baby. Be free, little guy. That was bad to the bone. That was bad to the bone. Whoo! Hey guys, that was that was so bitchin'. Another big female perch. She dropped about six babies when I was unhooking her. Hook was deep, so I just cut it. I didn't want to damage the fish. Came back, picked up all the little babies. They're out there swimming around. Southern California, I'm telling you, we have some great fisheries out here, but we got to make sure we take care of them. Coolest thing about is just getting the right product. Like I said, Akuma, Soft Steel, Fish Lab. A lot of this product, you want to go and support the local you know, fisheries and the local stores and brick and mortar. Um, one guy that really does a lot for Southern California for the, the saltwater side is Eric's Tackle in Ventura. I'll put his information down here. He's, man, he's always on the ball on what's going on locally. He's got the right setups. Uh, I actually called him this week to get some baits for out in the ocean. So make sure you guys stop by, check out Eric's Tackle or give him a call. Like I said, I'll put his phone number down here, but uh, we had a great day. We've already got a dozen uh, perch, big ones. We're fishing the incoming tide. Um, we're waiting for the big part. I'm gonna turn around. What I'm looking for is when these breaks, this water hits hard, right? Say right there, it's digging up the sand. So all the sand fleas, the crab, the perch are coming in literally 10 feet on the back side of those better waves as it's digging up and they're they're just feeding back and forth so that's all i'm doing i'm targeting about 10 to 20 feet behind the bigger breakers here comes a good wave right here and right on over here ah that didn't that didn't hit and dig out as much so that's what i'm just looking for i'm looking for the waves that hit and dig out the sand and then i'm just fishing on the back side Ooh, that's a good one right there so I want to get back out and start fishing. But I'm telling you, that's some cool stuff, man. Those are big perch, Southern California. Akuma Fish Lab, Soft Steel, BBZ. And like I said, I got to give a shout out to Eric at Eric's Tackle. He helped a lot, so I appreciate it. Um, let's get back out to it.